in the last video we spoke about diffusion convection and adsorption today let's go a little deeper into diffusion and understand what really happens inside the dialyzer especially a concept called the extraction ratio a dialyzer holds roughly 100 ml of blood at any given time now imagine blood entering the dialyzer with a urea level of 100 units if you run the blood at 300 ml per minute that 100 ml stays inside the dialyzer for only about 20 seconds with that short contact time urea may drop from 100 to 40 units in a single pass. So this 60% reduction between the inlet and the outlet blood urea level is what we call the extraction ratio. Now imagine slowing the blood to 100 ml per minute. The same 100 ml now sits inside the dialyzer for a full one minute. With this extra contact time, the extraction ratio goes higher, maybe around 75 to 85 percentage depending on the dialyzer. So now comes the question, if slower blood flow gives a higher extraction ratio, why don't we routinely use slow blood flow in day-to-day -day dialysis? Dialysis is not about how much we remove from one pass of blood, but how much we remove per minute of treatment. Let's compare both the treatments over a one minute period. At 100 ml per minute blood flow, the extraction is higher, say 80 percentage. So 80 units of urea cleared per minute. And at a blood flow of 300 ml per minute, the extraction is lower, say 60 percentage. But you process three times the blood in the same one minute period. So the total urea removed would be 3 into 60, which is 180 units per minute. Even though the extraction ratio is lower, the overall clearance is much higher with faster blood flow. So let's briefly see why slowing down the blood flow doesn't help forever. Diffusion follows a simple rule. It is faster when the concentration gradient is high. A simple first order kinetics. In the initial moment of contact with the dialysate, urea rushes out quickly. Then as the dialysate compartment starts accumulating urea, the gradient weakens and diffusion slows down. This is why giving blood too much time inside the dialyzer doesn't magically remove more. Let's compare this process to a simple real life analogy. Imagine washing clothes. In the first 10 to 15 minutes of washing, most of the dirt comes off very quickly, just like the fast phase of diffusion. To make the clothes perfectly pristine, you need more time. But the rate of cleaning is much slower. Now imagine you have to wash multiple sets of clothes. You could either wash one small load for a whole hour, so that load becomes extremely clean while everything else stays dirty, or you could wash three loads for 20 minutes each. In that case, they may not be perfect, but the total amount of cleaning done is far greater. That second option is what exactly high blood flow does in dialysis. It clears more total toxins, even if each pass clears slightly less. So the final takeaway is, we don't aim for the highest extraction ratio. We only aim for the highest total clearance per unit time. And that happens when the blood flow is higher, the concentration gradient is cheap, and when diffusion works continuously in its fast phase.